Then they're opening the bag, looking at me. Look at each other <laughs> like this. And I'm, I mean, I, I don't have a wrestling career without Al Snow. Al Snow just, he, like a lot of guys taught me, you know, stuff about wrestling. Al taught me how to be a professional in the business. And um, like tagging with him, man, I, it was great. Like Al's a phenomenal wrestler. And Al knows, Al has forgotten more wrestling than I could ever learn in 10 lifetimes. But what mm -hmm. makes Al so good and so you know just important to me is just the fact of I'm not where I am just, just as a professional without Al. Uh, we and Al, yeah. we, had, we had some good ribs. We had some really good ribs back and forth. Like like we went back and forth, and it got to the point to where I tell him because uh, we're we're riding together, and I'm like, let me see the rental car key. I'm in one hotel room. He's in another. I was like, I'm gonna go. Um, uh, I want to go to a strip club. So he gives me the key. What I did was I took the rental car three hotels down and hid it, parked it behind a dumpster. I walked back <laughs> to the hotel, knocked on his door, and then handed him the key at like midnight. And I was like, Good luck finding the car. Yeah, he's leaving at six a.m. to fly home. Oh, and no. he for that son of a bitch for like I don't know three or four hours. And then he called me and he was like, that, I can't find it. Where is it? And I told him. <laughs> so, but he got me back in a way. I'm leaving uh, Dallas Fort Worth Airport. I'm talking about, they asked me about Al Snow, so I'm telling a good rib story. Okay. I catch up real quick. Uh, I told him I wanted to go to a strip club. Let me see his rental car. I took it three hotels down, hit it behind a dumpster. <laughs> Walk back, give him the key. I'm like, good luck looking for it. And he looked for it for like three or four hours to get me back. I'm leaving Dallas Fort Worth airport. And I probably told this story, but what the hell he like, literally, uh, I was a hardcore champion at the time going through TSA and they're looking at my bag, looking at me, looking at my bag. And I'm like, yeah, they want to look at the belt. Have at it. Have at it. Kid. And I get you know, calling people over other TSA agents over. Then they're opening the bag, looking at me, looking at each other <laughs> like this. And I'm like, wow, they, they they just really enjoy a champion coming through here. <laughs> so I, I, I fly to Charlotte where my layover is, and I wanted to get something to eat. Because I remember Charlotte had really good, uh, really good restaurants in their concourse, like when you have a layover. Yeah. So I go to get reach into my bag to get my, my wallet out of it open it up man there is a like a 10 inch black pin strap dildo <laughs> and then it hits me then it hits me what all those looks were right those are looks of tsa agents thinking this guy can't he can't leave his house for a day without this thing man. oh fuck. That's <laughs> a good one. and a chin strap one at that so <laughs> unbelievable well, I, I called him up and I was like, you got me. I'm like, I tap out. You got me. 